Hi, my name is Jari. I'm a game producer student from Finland. I'm currently working as a producer in a team of eight people, and we are making a steampunk-themed cannon fishing game as a summer school project. We have seven weeks to make it, and then we will submit the game to a game development competition on Friday, the 26th of July. In this weekly devlog series, I will show you the ups and downs of our game development journey. This video is a recap of our first development week. Now let's go back in time to a day when we didn't have any idea what kind of game we would be making. All games ever created started off as an idea, but we didn't have any. So we started brainstorming. One of the methods we used had every one of us write down ideas to paper. Then we would pass our papers on to the next person, who would then extend on the ideas that the previous person had written. We repeated the process until everyone got their own paper back. Then we discussed the ideas and collected them in an excel sheet. I also brought with me all kinds of random objects, in hope of that they would be helpful in our brainstorming session. We didn't need any of them. At least we came up with a lot of ideas, some better than others. We started off Tuesday by brainstorming more, this time by using computers instead of pen and paper. We started by going through both well and badly reviewed indie games on Steam and see if we were inspired by them. Then we used two different online game concept generators. Links to both sites can be found in the description below. Finally, we even went through random articles on Wikipedia in search of inspiration. After this, we discussed the ideas and ended up with an origami style flying game idea, where the player would control an origami bird in a serene and colorful world. The idea didn't click with everyone in our team, however, so we had to go back to the drawing board. We started off Wednesday by imagining that the origami game idea was dead. and that we needed to come up with a new idea. Some people started to play around with an idea of a castle defending game. Some started to take our existing magnet fishing idea to new directions. After discussing about our newly formed ideas, we had three strong candidates. The original origami flying game, a castle defending game and a steampunk themed fishing game. We decided to take a break after the intense brainstorming session. We went to the nearby building to play some pool. It wasn't everyone's best day. After the break, we voted on the three ideas. The steampunk fishing game idea won by a narrow margin, but most importantly, none of us was against the idea. Now that we had finally locked our game idea in place, it was time to get to work. On Thursday morning, we had to present our game idea to our teachers. After they approved it, we celebrated with some pool. Then we continued prototyping. Our programmers made progress with our fish behavior, as well as with our cannon shooting mechanic. I also started to work on a presentation about our game that I had to show on Friday. You are living in a steampunk world, where even the fish in the sea are made of metal. Your ship's engine is broken, and you are stranded at sea. Luckily, the mechanical fish swimming below contain the parts you need. Your goal is to harvest enough fish parts to fix your engine, while avoiding getting your crew members eaten by the fish. The game is a 3D side view cannon shooter game for PC. The main features of the game include luring the fish, shooting the fish and upgrading your ship. Here's how the game would work. There's your ship on the left and on the bottom are the mechanical fish. First you must drop a lure in the water. This makes the fish attack your ship. While the fish are airborne, you must shoot them with your cannon. If you hit the fish, they explode into parts that you can harvest. 
with the harvested parts you can upgrade your ship, like make your cannon more powerful. This helps you to gather even more fish parts and eventually you'll have enough parts to fix your engine and sail away. That was a segment of my real presentation that summed up our game concept. After the other presentations were over, we had a coffee break and played some more pool. Then we planned our next steps and gave everyone their next tasks. Then we got to work. Our technical artist played around with some water tech. Our fish can now be destroyed with our cannon and it breaks down into parts. One of our artists created materials for our 3D models while the other artist created white box models of our most important game assets. Our game designers even finished the first draft of our game design document. This concluded our first development week. Thank you for watching my first devlog video. Don't forget to drop a like if you like it. I'm going to post this weekly during the summer, so subscribe to get notified on future uploads. And if you have feedback or ideas for our game, you can tell them in the comment section. I promise to read all of them. See you in a week.